we are already more likely, 75% more likely to live um, at a fence line community, which means that you're near a refinery, you're near a landfill, you're near some kind of toxic dump. So you're near um, a, you know, something, some kind of facility that's going to make you less health healthy already. So that's just, that's the bottom line. So then if then, you know, I think of Port Arthur, Texas, where I have family. So it's a fence line community. And um, when anything happens at the this gigantic refinery, if it rains, if there's a hurricane, if there's any weather event, then it means that the land around there, the water already, which is contaminated by the refinery, gets worse. Or people already living in a place that isn't that healthy have to flee someplace else. And so we are the ones that are going to be most affected and have been most affected by climate change. A lot of climate change, you know, when you see these weather events that are so huge, like a hurricane, happen in the deep south, which is the place that has the least, um, the 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 um, poorest. These are some of the poorest places and some of the most marginalized and oppressed. Already, there's a lot of refineries down. You know, you look at Cancer Alley in Louisiana. And um, you see that um, climate change will have an outsized effect on people of color in this country.